Tackling is another great defensive skill and an integral part of our game. We'll focus on three tackles, from behind, from the side and from the front. Got in. Loose ball picked up by Kuro. Kemp's got him. Inspirational start. The kick in the direction of Everett. He's got a chance. He'll kick a goal, won't he? No, he won't. He's been brilliantly run down by Andrew Shawl from behind. When tackling from behind, you need to perform the drop tackle. In effect, you need to run him down, focus on his waist so that you're not fooled by any tricks, grab him from behind with your arms wrapped around his elbows or arms, keep your head to the side, then simply drop to your knees. As you drop, attempt to spin him to the side. Perhaps even lean back as you tackle to avoid any suggestion of a push in the back. Practice this at a slow, controlled pace. And remember, the technique is tackle, drop, spin. Out of the middle, good chase, grab it, drag a civic. Confronted by Rice, crashes past Good run, Massey. Well done. Oh, terrific stuff by Massey. Can Garlic take Johnson on? No, oh, great tackle. Super tackle. The next tackle we'll focus on is the tackle from the front. Approach the player with the ball with your eyes on his waist and his hips. Make sure your head is positioned to either side of the ball carrier and that you tuck your chin into your chest. You should be aiming to make initial contact with your arms and shoulders. Your aim is to pin the arms of the ball carrier while he is still in possession. Use your own body weight to slow down his progress or use his body weight and momentum to spin him to the ground. Lyle, from oh, oh, ground, tackle, oh, tackle. Bowed again. The tackle came from Hamie Simpson. Beautiful running support provided by Blumfield. That oval ball wouldn't bounce for him. He's caught and caught beautifully. Perfect tackle. Sensational tackle by Williams. Backwards though. And Hunter had to be quick. Oh, he sold Kelly into all sorts of well, How good was the tackle though? Jared Malloy steel in his arms. The final tackle is called the hook tackle, which we perform when tackling from the side. Approach the player from the side, reach across his chest with your leading arm, attempting to grab him just above the elbows. Allow his body weight and momentum to take him forward. As this happens, wrap your other arm behind him, placing your head into the small of his back. Drop your own weight as for a drop tackle and spin the player to the ground. Again, the tackle involves wrap, drop, spin. Into the pocket, the ball bounces favourably. Bad tackle! Glenn Archer! But the Crows really take it up. Oh, what a tackle! That is a sensation by Hardwick. Begin your practice sessions on a partner, standing still and merely walking your way through the techniques before you start practicing on a moving target. If you have access to soft ground or even gym mats, use these to fall on. Also, if you have access to a judo or karate coach, they can teach you a great deal about how to fall without risking being hurt. Remember, tackle below the shoulders and above the knees. Up towards Grant, here he is. Leopard's with him. Gives it off to Grant. Oh, Leopard's no. what a tackle! Play on no holding the ball. That's a dangerous kick with Pickett at the back. Spring oh, the tackle. That's a good one. Well, that's, a, that's the right decision, but it's also a brilliant tackle. He has grabbed him by the arms, the ball, the entire body, and just crushed him to the ground. This is where they need a big mark. A huge pack of players waiting down in front was Rice. His kick is a puller, straight to Wallace. The mean bad man can he cover himself in glory. He's lost it.